Good morning, Hoshmi Vikings. Buenos dias. I'm the student who is ready for the weekend, Eric. And I'm the teacher who mentally is already there, Mr. Hesser. Today is Friday, November 13, 2020. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for this weekend. This dog is ready to be let out of the house. Hello, I'm Jose Alvarenga with today's lunch. Today's menu includes a hot dog on a coney bun or hot chicken tenders. Wait, that's so hot. The first side options is between baked beans or carrots. And your second choice is either mixed fruit or an orange cup. The power pack today includes strawberry banana yogurt, cheese sticks, cheese its and Doritos. Oh no! It's within munching distance of the Doritos! It's time for Harshman Happenings. Next week is NWEA testing in your math and English class. Make sure you're getting good night's sleep and eating breakfast so you can do your best. For the students who are currently signed up as 100% virtual, You'll be taking your NWA test virtually. However, you are welcome to come into the school building Wednesday, November 18th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. if you think that that would actually help you to navigate the test better. That takes us to our Friday top five. Top five things you didn't know about NWEA. Did you know that NWEA isn't even the name of the test? NWEA stands for Northwest Evaluation Association. It's the name of the company that administers the test. Unlike other tests like iLearn, NWEA is designed to measure growth. Teachers use this data from NWEA to better support students in classes and decide who to pull out. That's part of why it's so important that you do your best. You don't want us helping you on something that you already know how to do. The test is not a set amount of time or questions. It actually adapts based on the person taking it. The test results are a part of our school grade, as well as some of your teacher's evaluations. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the weekend. Well, we can't go to the weekend without some real-world news. That's right. It's time for Before You Go, Stay Under No. Today's real-world news is about COVID-19. Shocker. Pfizer seems to be on track for a vaccine that is showing 90% effective in its trial runs. If all goes according to plan, this could mean vaccinations starting as early as next March. Would everyone be able to get one right away? Due to availability, it's likely that when it's rolled out, only those most at risk would be approved for a vaccine. Well, that's the news for now, Vikings. Make it a fabulous Friday. The weather's not, no, I'm looking, Holly, Holly, Holly.